hear my voice. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come on back. I got your test results back. Okay. It's not as good as we hoped. The biopsy we took indicates advanced malignant cells. And so, um, what does that mean? It's cancer. And your tests indicate that it's advanced to stage four. That's bad. Yes, Hannah. I know this is a lot to take in right now. Um, are you sure? I understand you went to a lot of specialists who gave you inconclusive results, but yes, these tests are indisputable. Okay. Um, so what do, what do I do? What do we do? Well, we have had some success with chemotherapy. Okay. Wait, Hannah. At your advanced stage, chemotherapy can buy you a little bit of time, but it will not cure you. The cancer's spreading too fast. How much time? Weeks. Months, if you're lucky. And there's nothing you can do? No. I'm so sorry. Hannah, wait. There are a few things we can do. We can, we can modify your diet. I can give you some drugs to help with the pain. You can make the best of the time that you have left. Yeah. Daniel Davis here to see you. Send her in. Danielle, just the girl I want to see. <laughs> Sorry to show up like this. I appreciate you. Oh, stop you. it. Seriously. And listen, you're paying my rent. You can do whatever you want. Sort of. I'm kidding. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down. Listen, great news. I just got off the phone with Brett Chandler's manager, and he's agreed to be your date for the premiere of Twist of Fate on Wednesday. Listen, David, that's what I want to talk Listen, about. Listen, I, I, I know you're uncomfortable with the whole thing, but if you want to make it big, that's the way it's done. No, I mean, it's I mean, not listen, that. Catherine I mean... assures me that you don't have to spend any more than a couple of days a month with the guy. Just enough for the press, for the uh, see you two together. And the rest will take care of itself. Okay, but I want Catherine to... Catherine is a genius. I guarantee that the publicity she'll get you and the opportunities that you get after this will be well worth a few awkward lunches. Okay? Okay. 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 Now I can see uh, 
There's something else going on here. Now tell me, what's, what is it? I need to go home. <laughs> so do we all. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a family emergency and I really have to get back to Indiana. What? When, 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 when and for how long? Well, it, it'd only be for... When and for how long? Tomorrow, for at least a few days. Uh, <laughs> let me just make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you right. You're telling me that you want to miss the premiere, an event that is critical to your whole career. Listen, I know, I just, listen, Danielle, it's not Danielle. that. My mom's going to surgery and I... Danielle, we need to generate publicity while the fans are still invested. If they really think that you fell in love with Brett, they will flock to the theaters just to see where it all started. Public interests means more ticket sales. It means more fans. It means more people who will want a piece of you. That's what you've been working so hard for. I don't know what to do. Danielle, this business is all about the choices we make. And right now, the next few months are really critical. Now, I am really sorry to hear about your mom. I am. But your being there is not going to make that much difference. And frankly, missing this premiere is really not an option. No. I trust I can count on you to be there, right? Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Good. Look, I'm really glad you came in. <clears throat> and look, we're gonna get your mom a really nice care package. Trust me, she would want you to be here. Hey. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Can we, um, can we meet up? I, um, I, I have. <sighs> I need some more. I, I ran out. Yeah. Yeah, I know the place. Okay. are gonna hit up that new bar on third. Oh, that sounds like fun. But uh um, please I... come. You never hang out with us anymore. Uh Kyle's actually coming over for dinner tonight. Really? Yeah, I've been trying to get Ryan and Kyle together for months now, so. Why? Kyle's my best friend. He should be friends with my husband. <laughs> Jill. What? Have fun. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's a long road, but I got big wheels. They keep on turning, babe, like the earth and the sun and the moon and the stars. All right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, just catching my breath. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing's important. <laughs> you staked out a good spot. Good book, little lunch. Beautiful day, you can hardly beat it. Do you, um, do you come here every day? Uh, not every day, but close. Don't you get restless? You're surrounded by all this? Some people crave adventure, and excitement, but not me. I like to stay in one spot. I'm kind of like these trees, you know, deep rooted. I get that. <laughs> yeah. 
Believe it or not, I've um, I've never been on a plane. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up here, and uh, one of my parents did. Well, life happened, you know, and I never really wanted to go anywhere. But I don't know. Now I just, you know, I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> no, you're still young. Not that young. Regret's a funny thing. It either takes you to the past or the future. Two places we have no power. This moment we're living in right now is the only real place we can make a change. Don't waste your time with regret. If you want something, you go get it. Otherwise, life can do an unfortunate thing. What's that? Pass you by. Party last week. Yeah, I've been busy. So look, I was totally gonna call you back. Let's I forget just... it. Right. So you got the stuff? Yeah, of course. Well? You got my cash? Do you want to pay me back some other way? Yeah, I got the cash. Fine. What's your deal? Nothing. Look, I'll see you around, okay? Thank you. No way. Are you going to Paris? Um, yes, I hope so. I love Paris. My grandma took me there when I was nine. Oh yeah? Have you been before? Uh, nope, but you know, I've always wanted to go. Mm. How long are you going for? I'm not sure. Um, kind of depends. On what? Just life, I guess. <laughs> Take some pictures from you, will ya? Sure. Enough of the grease for today, I'm out of here. All right, man, I'll take care of the check. I'll see you tomorrow, half foot. If I join you? Just sure. for a sec. Sure. Okay. <laughs> you come here often? You do not just say that. I did, and I'm not even embarrassed about it. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I do. Uh, it's quiet here, you know, so I like to come and read. So are you going to Paris sometime soon? Yeah, hopefully. When? Three weeks. Um, you going with a boyfriend, or...? I'm moving there, actually. Wow, okay. Uh, soon. <laughs> so you're going with your friends, or your boyfriend, or...? Just me. Just me. I have really bad timing. Oh, you have no idea. So, what are you doing in the city of love all by yourself? I don't know, you know, I'm just I'm gonna paint, explore, just... So you're a painter? Yeah. I have uh, no artistic talent whatsoever. Oh, no? No, but actually, I could do a pretty mean stick figure. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Wow. It's 
nice. What is that? That's you. Of course. Oh, there I am. Okay. Yeah, obviously. My hair. Jeez. Here. You can have that. Oh, thank you. That's for you. On the house. On the house. So, uh, what about your parents? They're not going to miss you? I mean, my mom would freak out if I wasn't... Well, she couldn't call me every day. Every week. A month? Mm. Don't worry about it. I, I'm totally independent. I mean, it's, it's not a mom Sure. Issue. No, of course. It's, it's, I know, it's kind of weird. Um, no. <laughs> Actually, my parents died when I was 11, so... I'm sorry. I... It's okay, really. It was a long time ago. It makes it easier to move halfway around the world, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, what do you do? I'm a lawyer. No, you're not. <laughs> you know I'm not. But you're not. I don't look like a lawyer. It's no. Just, it's my day off. What do you want? I thought they didn't give you guys a day off. Well, they don't. This is me taking advantage of... Look, I haven't had a vacation since I started working. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean... I mean, I don't even know what I would do if I... If I had a week off... What would you do? Mm, adventurous and spontaneous. Yeah, like what? Oh, like Paris. Maybe. Maybe. Can I see that? Yeah. Hello. Hi, David. It's Danielle. I'm at the premiere what of premiere? Uh, Twist of Fate. That's next week. What? You told me it was tonight. Didn't Catherine call you until you was pushed? Huh? No. Has anyone seen you? N no, there's no one here. Just, just don't move. Wait right there. I I'm going to call Catherine. you so much and I wish I was there I should be there with you can you stay here for a minute I gotta go inside Sorry, he's just on a business call right now. I'm sure he'll be no off any minute. <laughs> Your place is nice. <laughs> Seems like forever since I've been here. <laughs> You're pretty. Um, Kyle never mentioned that. Can I get you a drink? Wine. Hey, Ryan. Ryan, this is Kyle's date, Mandy. Hi. Can I talk to you really quick? Something happened at work. I have to go back to the office. 
I know, you promised. I've been trying since the last couple weeks. You know, I know. That. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Tell them I'm sorry and uh, maybe I'll be back for dessert. Okay? What happened? Um, he had to go back to work. You know, I guess it's just gonna be the three of us for dinner. More food for us, huh? <laughs> what are we having? Uh, rosemary chicken. It's, it's Ryan's favorite. Hmm. You didn't tell her. I'm vegetarian, sorry. Oh, well, hey, it's, it's no problem. I can just whip up something else. No, forget it. Uh, can I have that wine? In a field where people don't respect the spirit of what the intention is, as opposed to the letter may say that they're guilty. And that hey, they I'm really sorry. We're trying to close up. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have to get home to my dogs. Keep the change. You didn't have to do that. No, but then if I didn't, I couldn't call it a date. You really are a lawyer, aren't you? Have you some more tonight? Um. No. No, not really. Blame someone else and one but yourself. This misery is only Come on, Ben. Stop worrying about your stupid job. You should take the shot with me. Just have a good night, okay? Please? For you, okay. all right? To shitty bosses. Shitty bosses. Mm. Oh. <laughs> You're such a girl. Oh. <sighs> better. A little bit. Ooh. Danielle Davis. Nice, Penny. Really? What's she doing? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. She's not my favorite Hollywood bombshell, but I see the appeal. I know her. I, I like had every class with her in like since second grade. Daniel Davis, really? We all called her um, Danny since back then. Well, I mean, her, her friends did anyway. Uh, you guys weren't friends? Oh, we, we were. We were. No. Well, kind of. I wanted to be, but I, it just never happened that way. Loved her? Basically, yeah, yeah, I did. What happened? I, I never, I never told her. I, I, I couldn't tell her. I mean, you, you, it, it wouldn't have worked. You know, she wouldn't have been interested. Okay, you need to talk to her. This is your shot. No, 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 no. no. Okay, I, I've been, I've been drinking. So I'm gonna come off as a bad one. You had idiot. one, Ben. You're fine. Go. I can't. All right. If I couldn't, then I'm not going to now. I need to just sit here and I just, I can't. I can't. Okay. Just let's just enjoy your time here. Okay. Have another drink, or you can. I'll, just, I'll just sit here. Okay. Then I'm gonna go. No, 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 no. Avery, don't, don't do. It. Oh Christ. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Relationships are about. Go 
Compromise? Compromise isn't one-sided. People have to take care of each other. Exactly, in the, the phone book. All right, of course. <laughs> wow. And Jacobson, what a small world. You, uh, you really look great. Danielle, what are you doing in here? Oh, um, this is my friend Ben. We I don't care. We need to leave. Let's go. I guess that's my cue. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You should give him your number. Avery, you just... No, no, she's right. Um, just give me a second. Do you have a pen? Um... Yes, yes, I do. Uh... Let's, uh, just do coffee or something. I'd love to. It's really good to see you. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. Oh, God. Mr. Jacobson, this night is looking up, Joe! This time. <laughs> yeah. I was like a zombie vampire. <laughs> a little bit. It's your second one. Oh, right. So, what do I owe you? I just bet they are. Yeah, it's my phone number. You better use it <laughs> wisely. You're good. I'm impressed. Really, I am. I just promise to call. I promise. Mm. Dude, seriously. It's gonna be fine. Just walk in, get drugged up, walk out. No brainer. Yeah. It's just, I feel like I waited too long. <sighs> Why did you wait so long? <laughs> did you just think it was gonna go no. away? I don't know. I, I guess I just wasn't ready to deal with it yet. Relax. Here you go. Take the address. 
seriously. Look. You just, you need to relax. Like breathe <sighs> deeply or something. <sighs> Wish me luck. Luck. Glad you're here. Yeah, why is that? I'm all out. Let's see what we can do about that, huh? Where the hell have you been? I... Two weeks, Brooke? I don't hear from you for two weeks. What were my rules when you first moved in? One, you tell me where you are, and two, you just come home at night and sleep in your bed. You never pulled this shit with mom and dad. Well, you're not mom and dad. And no one asked you to be my guardian. What's the big emergency, Brooke? Why am I here? I have patience. I'm pregnant. What? I wasn't even gonna tell you, I was just gonna get it taken care of, but um, 
Tell me that I can't get an abortion because I'm too far along. What? Wait, how far along are you? Like four months. Four months? You let this go for four months, Brooke? How could you be this irresponsible? Okay. Look, so I'm telling you now, all right? Well, um, I did some research and I, uh, I found this doctor in Arizona that's willing to do abortions after four months. But, um, it's kind of expensive. So I was hoping. Hoping I would help you pay for it. Yeah. How much? $3,000. God, how could you let this happen? Are you going to help me or not? Who's the father? Just some guy. It doesn't matter. I will consider loaning you the money. Thank you. But I have conditions. Of course you do. One, you will come home at night, no later than midnight. Are you kidding me? Do you want my help or not? Two, you will get a job, a nine to five job with a salary and you and I will work out some sort of payment plan and you will pay me back until it's paid back in full. Fine. And you will let me take you in to talk to somebody about your options. You're not going to some crackpot doctor in Arizona. You have to be more responsible, Brooke. No more drinking, no more drugs, no more staying out late at night and doing God knows what. If mom were alive- Yeah, well, she's not. Okay. She's not. Get up. I'm going home. Hello? Hey, Kyle. It's, it's Jill. Jill, hey. What are you doing? Um, just out with some friends. You should come. Okay. Great. Great. I'll text you the address. Okay. All right. Awesome. something. You always do. I just wish you could have known her when her parents were alive. She wasn't always like this. I know she's a teenager. Yeah. She needs her parents and instead she gets me. Sam, come on. Don't. I just think this is all my fault. Come on, it's not. You can't blame yourself for something that you have no control over. loves me anymore. 
I'm sure he does. You know, Jill, people go through rough pack. Cheers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Missy. <laughs> oh my god, three feet from the drink. Come on. God, I'm having dinner party flashbacks, all right? Oh. Jeez, you've had enough. I guess you won't have to sleep with me tonight either. Yeah, I guess not. Lucky me. Don't be mean. That's not what I look like. Whoa, 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 oh. whoa. Okay, Bob Birds, last call. Let's take the tab, please. I'll close it out. Sure. Uh, last name? Montgomery. Montgomery. I don't talk like that. <laughs> no, we don't. Come on, drunkie, get your purse. Take it home. Come on. Hey. What do you want? Where you been? My sister's home. You shouldn't be here. Out of me or something? No. Can I come in? No. Why not? What's wrong with you? I gotta go. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What's with you? You've just been like so. I don't know, like so. Pregnant. So pregnant. I just. I just thought you should know. Well, who's. Who's the father? I don't know. Just some asshole. Who? You, Brian. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Because I'm like you. I don't go sleeping with everything that moves. You know what? Just go. Hey. Just go! Go! Well, yeah, I, I guess I should go inside. Yeah, yeah. Do you need me to walk you to your door? Oh, no, I can get in. I need you to. <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow. This is not easy. This is not just another girl. This is Danielle Davis. What am I doing? Hello? Hey, uh, Danny, it's, it's, it's Ben, uh, Jacobson. Ben, it was great to see you. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Um, hey, listen, uh, I was just wondering, maybe you wanted to, I don't know, uh, you know, grab a drink or maybe, maybe even dinner sometime with, uh, you know, like sometime being this week, you know, with, uh, with, with, with me. Yeah, yeah, no, I would love to. Uh, you know, shoot, this week I'm, I'm super busy. Oh, okay. Um, that's, that's fine. Just, yeah, maybe some other time. Oh, well, hey, um. I'm meeting some friends tonight for dinner and well, maybe you could come by afterwards and meet for some drinks. That's perfect. Okay, we'll see you then. All right, bye. Hello? 
Hey, it's Kyle. Oh, hey. Um, listen, I just wanted to clear the air and make sure you weren't feeling weird about the other night. Feeling weird? When I drove you home. God, I, I was so drunk. Did I do something stupid? Nope. No, you were perfect. So listen. I've got two tickets to the ballet tomorrow night. A friend of mine's dancing in the show. And, uh, I thought she'd be a great person for you to meet. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, she's starting her own dance company. And, and I've been telling her about you, so. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> great, great. You want to just meet me at the theater around 7, then? Um, yeah, OK, let me just double check here. Checking, checking. Yeah, OK, great. Cool, I'll see you there. Okay, bye. You're ready. Let's go. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm going to the ballet with Kyle. No, you, <laughs> you can't do this to me, babe. I told you weeks ago about this. It's the company party. But I'm. Kyle has a friend who works in the ballet, and he could give me a job. Jill, babe, please. All the guys are bringing all their wives. The contacts from the companies are going to be there. It's a big, big deal. This is a big opportunity for me. Yeah, but. I, Yeah, yeah, so did I. Do you remember the song? Uh, it was the summer after senior year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the week before I moved back to L.A. Mm -hmm. Every sound, taste, it was so precious. I miss that feeling. Do you, uh, do you know I had a, a bit of a, a crush on you in high school? Really? You, you did? 
Yeah, uh, huge, actually. <laughs> well, why didn't you do anything about it? I, I don't know. I mean, we were friends, and, and and even if I had, you you wouldn't have been interested. Thank you for tonight. I uh, had a great time. You're welcome. Is going on with you? You were really rude during dinner. Rude? Yeah, you knew how important those clients were to me. You could have given me at least 10% of your energy. Maybe I would have if I didn't feel so completely ignored and unwelcome all night. Watch your tone. My, my tone? Seriously? I missed a once in a lifetime chance because you said you needed me. I do everything for you. I ask one thing from you, and you can't do it without complaining. Everything? You do everything? Every, yes, everything. everything. Screw you, Ryan. Hey. Uh, how did you find out where I lived? Mm. You shouldn't put your home address on your business cards. I didn't give you this. And you promised you would call me. Look, it doesn't matter. Honestly, I know you, you're leaving in three weeks. And I just wanted to see you. Josh, this is really sweet. I, I just... I came all this way. Brought you coffee. Let's just go for a walk, please. I just, I really need this to stay simple. It is simple. It's a beautiful day outside. A cup of coffee. Just coffee. Hey. And that, that's it. Okay, one second. Sorry, it's such a mess in here. I wasn't expecting this. 
Yeah, I wasn't either. <laughs> Believe me, it is the last thing in the world I... Well, no, no, I mean, in a good way, in, in the best possible way, you know? I mean, because you have no idea how long I've wanted... You know what? Just... never mind. <laughs> You're cute. Shut up. You are. Wow. Jesus, your parents haven't changed at all. Uh, do you want blueberry or plain? You know, I remember your mom making us the best pancakes that I've ever tasted. When did you have my mom's pancakes? Oh, fourth grade, I think. We were all at your house rehearsing this little play that I had written. I don't remember what it was, but... No, 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 that's right. It was, uh, a tiny something. The, uh, uh, about the mouse who gets super shrinked after eating magical cheese. <laughs> hey, don't laugh, all right? It was a brilliant title and plot line. You still writing? Um, uh, not so much. I mean, not as much as I'd like to. Why not? You know, just work. You work in publishing, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a book editor, though. Right. Yeah, you know, my day is spent correcting other people's work. Yeah, and to top it all off, my boss is a gigantic tool. Did I happen to mention that? Well, you should quit. I should. Well, I hope you keep on writing. I mean, you were so good at it when we were kids. <laughs> you know what? I think I have those plays stashed somewhere. Wow, I'd love to see them. <laughs> so do your uh, parents still live on Barnett? Yeah, they do. Um, you still my neighbor? Sadly, no. Uh, my parents moved away shortly after my sister and I graduated college. Well, that's too bad. You had a great house. Yeah, it was. I uh, especially loved the second story window that looked right into your bedroom. What? You little perv. Hey, only once I hit puberty, okay? Before that, you were just the smelly girl next door. Oh, and you were the little jerk who always took my seat on the bus. Whoa, whoa, you loved me. <laughs> Yes, I did. So how are Frank and Donna, anyway? Not great, actually. Yeah, my mom had to have surgery last week. Jesus. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal. I'm sorry, is she okay? Yeah, she'll be fine. She's uh, recovering slowly. It's just I... Wasn't there. Sure. Well, I had this thing. <sighs> Actually, I didn't, which is the worst part about it. My agent guilt tripped me to staying so I could go to this premiere with Brett Chandler. Oh, you and he. No, 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 God, no. That's a publicity thing, which is a whole other nightmare. But. My agent made it sound like I would ruin my career if I left, so I stayed. I missed my mom's surgery. And the premiere is not even happening till later this week. I haven't seen my parents since Christmas. I should have been there. I know what it's like to have to choose between your career and, I don't know, your life, I guess. Especially when everybody's pushing on you from all sides. My career's been everything to me for so long and I have no control. Come on, yeah, you do. You just have to take it back.
Brooke, I'm not here, obviously, so leave it at the beep. Hey, hey, Brooke, uh, it's me. I, I just calling to see if you're going to just this thing tonight. And um, I, I wanted to talk to you about something. It's, it's, it's not really a big deal. I just, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And um, I, <laughs> I, I got you something. Uh, uh, I, I wanted to, wanted to help you out. If, 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 if you want. So, um, let me call back, okay? Right, bye. to say something, but I didn't want you to think that I was trying to leave. Well, let's go get some food. Uh, well, maybe we should change first. Why? Well, you're right. Stay like this. It'll be very incognito. <laughs> Where do you want to go? I'm going to take you somewhere, but it's a surprise. Really? Really. But first, I'm going to run to my car so I can change. Okay, but... I'm driving, because if you drive, we won't get there till after the restaurant closes. Whoa, whoa, I don't drive that slow. <laughs> yes, you do. All right, fine, fine, you can drive. Fine, I will. I'm just gonna go change first. <laughs> Serious. Look, you never told me. Why? I really don't want to talk about it right now, okay? You can't get invested in this. Just like that. Just like what? I want to get to know you. Why, why, why can't you let me in? Hmm? Hmm? Josh, I can't stop. Stop, 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 stop. Why do you keep pulling away? Uh, 
I didn't call you, okay? I really don't know how to be clearer than that. And today, that doesn't mean anything. I know you feel something. Okay, see, but that's the thing. You've never once asked me what I feel. It's just, it's all been about you. I can't stay here with you. It isn't up to me. Will you please just ask me? Stop. You have to stop asking so much. Shit. Pills. Nothing, all right, Josh. I really need you to go. Hannah, what is no. what's wrong? There's nothing what to is do wrong? with you, Josh. There's nothing to do with you. I need you to go. I can help. Oh, you can't help me, okay? Nobody can help me. Hannah, what is it? Nothing. Look at me. It what is, is it? Josh, what is I it? I have stage four cancer, okay? Will you please go? You're off the hook, okay? I don't expect you to stick around for this. I don't want to stick around for this. Stick around. Please. I know that you're gonna find someone really great. But if you stayed, I've got something really big to lose. I can't handle it. Drag my body to the sea Let these bleached out bones drop peacefully Cause I've spent way too long searching for that friend To pick me right back up on my feet Where's my money? I just crying. Jamie, what's wrong? It's Brian. Can you give us a minute? Catherine, I'll be there. 
He just came in from the new author. He wants to get things moving. Yeah, okay. Um, I can get them going tomorrow. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna need these on my desk tomorrow. There is no way I can do this whole thing by tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna be here till two in the morning. Well, then you're gonna have to be here till two in the morning. Not this time. I can't. Excuse me? Look, I have things I need to do. Yeah, you may have little things that you have to do, but you get these done and you have them on my desk by the morning. Or you're fired. That won't be necessary. Good. I'm glad we see eye to eye. It won't be necessary because I quit. Quit? Quitters never make anything of themselves, Ben. What the hell is this? He's just a friend. Oh, you kiss all your friends like that? I don't know what to say. <laughs> you have, you, you're in serious breach of your contract. I, I didn't plan on it. This could ruin everything we set up with you and Brett. Everything we set up to advance your career, to bring you closer to your dreams. You know, I don't like the way you're talking to me. Excuse me? Look, you know something? You better figure out how you're gonna fix this. Because as much as I like you, I will drop you like a bad habit if you ever pull anything like this again. Is that clear? I'm done. When I get back from visiting my parents, I'll be signing with a different agent. Goodbye, David. I can't walk away. I want to spend this time with you. And it doesn't matter if it's a, a year, or a week, or a day. I'm here. Okay. I'm 
so sorry. What's going on? I left Brian. What? This is big. Yeah. I mean, I always thought Ryan was kind of a selfish jerk. Well, why didn't you say something? How could I? You married him so fast, and I wanted to be supportive. Ugh, that was my first mistake. Look, I know it sucks right now, but you did the right thing. Yeah, I just, I feel like I wasted so much time, you know? The four years I spent with Brian, I could have spent with, I don't know. With you? Well, no one. Kyle. What? Come on, Jill. You and Kyle have had a thing for each other since day one. <laughs> well, that is so not true. We're just friends. He's been madly in love with you forever. He just couldn't do anything about it because you were already with Ryan. Is that true? Yeah. I think you guys should go for it. You want the last bite? What? Ah, toi. Moi. Oui. Quoi d'autre pouvez-vous dire en français? Oh, slow. <laughs> It's like my third day learning this. I know how to say uh, yes, no, <laughs> and uh, my girlfriend is very beautiful. Your girlfriend, huh? Some nerve, you know. You Hollywood types, you, you think you can just use people and throw them away like they don't even matter? Ben was one of the good ones. If you mess him up for the rest of us, I will literally find you and kill you. Listen, Avery, I didn't Save mean... it. Are you okay? Yeah. Listen, Brooke, there's something I need to tell you. Okay. I freaked out on you the other day when you told me about the baby. No shit. And it wasn't entirely fair. Is this an apology? It's an explanation. Greg and I have actually been trying to get pregnant. And it's been really tough. 
He never told me that. Well, we were kind of waiting until he... The truth is, we went to see a fertility specialist. And I have what they call a hostile uterus. So the chances of us actually getting pregnant are really slim. I'm sorry. So, you know, you showing up the other day and telling me about the baby, it was kind of like pouring salt on the wound, which isn't your fault. But the point is, I'm sorry about the way I acted. It's OK. Look, Brooke, I know things have been really weird between us ever since Mom and Dad died. and. I just never knew how to... It's like you're not a kid anymore, but you're not an adult either. All I want is for you to be safe. I know. And I know I hold you to an impossibly high standard sometimes, but I just want the world for you, and so did Mom and Dad. I need some help here. I need some help. Call, call an ambulance. It's a funny thing, regret. It takes us into the past and into the future. Two places where we have no power. A careless mistake An honest risk I was willing to take You don't know the things I know You don't see the way I show Pitchfork in the road. It's only here, in this moment, that change is possible.
If you want something, go and get it. Or life will do an unfortunate thing. Pass you by. I thought you changed. It all turned out to be the same. Love 
birds, I see shadows closing in. 